I'm Carlo Mincatelli of Time2 Resources. This video will help you to understand the demand curve. If you want to make notes whilst following the video, why not download the handy PDF note taker? The link can be found in the description box below. The demand curve shows the relationship between the quantity demanded for a good or service at any given price over a period of time. Firms supply goods and services, economic agents such as consumers, other firms and government demand these goods and services. At a high price, quantity demanded will tend to be low. As price starts to fall, quantity demanded will increase. We can illustrate this diagrammatically. Firstly, we draw the axes. Then, on the vertical axis, we label price, and on the horizontal axis, we label quantity. Then we draw a downward sloping demand curve, which we label D for a demand. We can see that as price falls, quantity demanded increases. To find the quantity demanded at any given price, firstly, we select the price P, then we draw a dotted line along to the demand curve. From there, we draw a dotted line down towards quantity demanded to find Q. In economics, when we talk about demand, we're looking at the entire demand curve. When we talk about quantity demanded, we're looking at a specific point on the demand curve which corresponds to a specific price. A change in the price of a product will lead to a change in the quantity demanded that consumers are willing and able to buy at a new price. This will be shown by a movement along the demand curve. At a price of £15, consumers demand 100 units. If price was to decrease to £10, demand would increase to 120 units. This is shown by a movement along the demand curve from 100 to 120 units. A change in any factor other than price, such as consumer income, the price of other goods, or taste and fashion is shown by a shift in the demand curve. An increase in demand can be seen by a shift in the demand curve upwards and to the right from D to D1. A decrease in demand can be seen by a shift in the demand curve downwards and to the left from D to D2. Thank you for watching and listening to this video. Supply and equilibrium are covered on separate videos. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time2 Resources YouTube channel now.